Hi, my name is Navid Adib and I'm a pediatric rheumatologist working in uh, Queensland. I have been in this field since uh, year 2000. I currently do uh, about seven clinics every week uh, in uh, pediatric rheumatology. Uh, my base is uh, at uh, Wesley Hospital, but also Royal Children's and Mata Children's, but uh, go also as far as Mackay and Townsville. The appropriate name for it is juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Idiopathic meaning that we don't know what's causing it is uh, predominantly an inflammatory and autoimmune condition, which for the child, it means pain. And with pain comes uh, inability to do normal function, regressing and not being uh, willing to do play or uh, other normal activities such as going to school. Obviously, the impact of this is very significant and important for the families, and uh, it uh, not only uh, causes unsettling of the uh, child, but also uh, disruption of the family routine. And most of uh, the children with arthritis continue to have uh, symptoms um, throughout adulthood. This uh, acts as a crippling uh, disease and will uh, cause um, uh, deformity and damage to the joints that are permanent and will not be um, uh, remedied and uh, fixed uh, later. Perhaps it is much easier to treat this condition and prevent the uh, long-term uh, damage uh, early in the disease rather than later. The cost of uh, caring for a disabled person to the community is much more than the cost of uh, investing in preventing the uh, damage uh, to uh, our children and uh, control the uh, condition uh, early in their life. In Queensland, roughly about one in thousand children are affected uh, with uh, juvenile arthritis. Uh, this is uh, 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 more common than cystic fibrosis, that uh, is uh, roughly about one in two thousand, and uh, slightly more common than um, uh, insulin dependent or type one diabetes in young people, which is about uh, one in uh, twelve hundred. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, has gone unrecognized in children, and the reason is that uh, uh, arthritis in children is a disabling condition uh, rather than a lethal condition. Diagnosis or recognizing if the child has uh, arthritis uh, may come about, especially in a very young child who may have uh, difficulty uh, articulating and verbalizing their symptoms to their uh, parents is uh, that uh, often uh, there will be um, either regression in the developmental skills. Uh, what that means is that, for example, a very uh, young infant, uh, say 18 months old, who has been walking for a few months, uh, uh, all of a sudden stops walking or is reluctant to walk unless uh, um, given pain relief medications. Any joints in the body can be affected. Large joints such as knees, or hips, or shoulders, or small joints such as fingers and wrists, or midfoot and ankle. The neck or cervical spine can also be affected, and the result of this will be inability to turn or look upwards or downwards, and this has a uh, huge impact. The effect of uh, arthritis on children is not just limited to the joints. Different organs can be affected. For example, heart, lungs, liver and uh, abdominal organs uh, can be affected uh, with severe disease and the eyes uh, can become inflamed as well. Uh, unfortunately, the nature of this inflammation is usually one that the child cannot feel anything, uh, for example, pain to report to their parents, and it only becomes evident if they have a screening test by an eye specialist. So that is a very important um, uh, service to arrange for the children who have been recently diagnosed with arthritis as well. 
people can uh, support uh, research and increasing in knowledge about juvenile arthritis by donations to uh, organizations such as Arthritis uh, Australia or Arthritis Queensland and particularly community uh, support groups such as Zoe's Angels for William's Wish. In doing so, support the uh, good work that uh, uh, people uh, are already doing uh, in this uh, area.